hold it like this. <laughs> okay, we're live now. Oh, great. What I need like is a red camera to go, the red light to say we're, we're on. <laughs> Perfect. Ross, we're ready to get started? Okay, great. Thanks, Kristen. Um, hello there. My name is Andrew Jones of uh, LKC Technologies. Welcome to our booth. We're live here in Indianapolis at the uh, ACVO annual meeting to do a live demo of the Redivet. Joining me today uh, is uh, Lindsay Hasdinton, lead technician at the Animal Eye Clinic in Westfield, Indiana. Uh, we also have with us Easton. Hi, Easton. You know, thank you. He's been kind enough to be volunteered to help us out here today. So, you know, thank you very much. Um, Lindsay, I wanted to ask you a few questions first before we get started with the demo. Uh, first thing, I wanted to uh, ask you, can you tell us a little bit about your clinic and wh where you work? Yeah, um, I work at Animal Eye Clinic in Westfield, Indiana. Um, we do receiving days and we do surgery days. Um, we do a lot of cataract surgery, a lot of corneal surgeries. Um, with our receiving days, we do see cats and dogs. I would say it's about 75% dogs, 25% cats. Um, but we do a lot of good work there, um, see a lot of great patients and great people. Great. Thank you. Um, how long have you been using the, the Redivet device? I have been using the Redivet uh, device for about four and a half years. Four and a half years. And where are you mostly using it? Like what types of patients, what types of conditions? Yes, we are using it um, before cataract surgery to make sure our patients are good candidates for cataract surgery. And then we're also using it um, for cases of sudden blindness, like for SARDS patients. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. And what do you like about the device? How, how do you like using it? Yeah, um, I love that it's portable, obviously. Um, you can also see the screen. You can see the eye when you're doing testing, and it's very, very quick. Excellent. So that's nice to have when you have patients that are moving a lot. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much for answering our questions. Yeah. I guess, uh, Easton's been very patient. We should probably get into the, to the demo. Um, now, obviously, Easton's been dilated and anesthetized, and so he's ready to go with it with yes. the test. So, yes. um, what protocol are you going to be using for uh, for the test today? We are using the um, Flicker test, so it's very quick. It's one of the quickest tests um, that you can use on this device. So, it's essentially just a series of flashes of lights. Okay. So, it will test the function of the retina. Excellent. All right. Well, why don't we get started? Okay. So. At our clinic, um, before we get started, we will normally give them like a pain injection just to help them relax. Not every patient needs it, but it is sometimes helpful so they're not moving. Um, also, we will put in a dilating drop. So we use um, tropicamide probably 10 minutes before, and then uh, we will dark adapt them for our protocol that we use. Um, it's customized for our practice, um, so we'll usually um, dark adapt them for about like five to 10 minutes. And then we do do it in a dark room with red light. Um, before we get started too, we will also apply a topical anesthetic. So we'll use Preparacane before we get started. So once all of that is done, we can start connecting our electrodes here. So normally I would go ahead and put a numbing drop in, but I don't have that today. So we have our three electrodes here, we have two needle electrodes. So, all right, buddy. The first one we use, our ground electrode, you can put it between the shoulder blades. And this is just intradermal that it goes in the skin. Good oh boy. And then with the second one, I put this at the... Um, base of the cartilage of the ear. Okay. Good job, buddy. And then um, this is the canine contact electrode. This is super nice. It sits in the eye very, very well. Um, with this, I'll use a lubricant. I use optics care. So there's like a little cup here. I know it's probably hard to see, but you'll just apply a little of that in the cup. Um, this is very easy to get in the eye, uh, but with smaller patients, you might need help getting it in the eye. So whoever is holding for you, they can hold the upper lid and then I can pull down on the lower lid. And then usually I'll take this around the head so it's not hanging down. 
and it just sits right in the eye. So you can let go. It's going to stay there. That's why it's super nice kind of suction cups on the cornea. And then we can begin our test. So normally you're prompted on the screen. You'll start a new test and then you would put in the patient's information. So we'll make that quick here. Good job, buddy. It also asks for their birth date, put it that in there. And then you can begin your test. There we go. Okay. So the screen prompts you what to do. So it'll say place and connect electrodes to the right eye. So obviously we need to connect to our device here. So this little blue piece will go here. And then um, the screen here shows you there's a circle. So it wants you to align the pupil inside the circle. This way just a little bit. So then you'll just place the GANS field here. It's thinking. <laughs> Let's see. Is it flashing? Okay, and then you'll get your results. So right after that, um, it'll show you here, you can see the waveforms. This probably didn't have the best waveforms because we're not in the dark and didn't have dilating drops, but it will show you your waveforms here. And then um, you can either repeat it if you feel like you need to, or if you're happy with the results, you'll hit next. And then it will prompt you to do the other eye. Did you want me to do the other eye? Sure, might, might okay, as well, yeah. Okay. So after that, you'll wanna do your other eye. So you can keep your um, ground electrode um, between the shoulder blades, but you are gonna want to move this needle electrode to the other side. So when I do this too, I, I kind of just pinch the skin right here and place it that way. Good boy, buddy. And then we'll take out our con contact comes out very easily as well. I'll usually put some more optics here in it. Good boy, buds. And so even as, you know, me just doing it, I kind of just take my index and my thumb, you know, open the eye and then place it in here. Good boy. That one's still in. And then if anything becomes disconnected, it will tell you so you'll know. So then it will say left eye run. And then you place it on the screen. So you can't really probably appreciate it, but you can see like the flashing of the light, like from the GANS field. And so that's how quick it is. And then again, we get our results. Great. What? Oh, sorry. Here, I don't know. Do you want me to disconnect it and they see it? Okay. Obviously, here's your results that you can see on the screen. And then you'll hit next. No. And then uh, it saves the results. Now, Lindsay, um, do, do you um, have the ability to put hook this up to a laptop as well if you want to see a bigger report? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's what we do at our clinic. So the results are saved in the device, but then you can connect it to your laptop computer and then um, the results can come in like a PDF form. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, through uh, Cradle. Um, yeah, so the USB, yeah. yeah, I can show you the cord that comes with it too. It's just like this cord that you'll attach. So this end will go back here in the back of this. And then obviously your USB that goes in the computer. So super easy to transfer it there. Now, Lindsay, I'm, um, I was just uh, going to open it up to the crowd. If there's any, and does anybody have any questions? Anybody who's here with us live today? Yeah. Here, I'm going to disconnect this. We can probably start taking that off. Okay. So it'll show this, the wave. This, this, this was the flicker. Okay, yeah. So this is. Regular, um. Yeah. I probably could get back there. Hey, buddy. Let's see. Doing great. 
So results of past patients. Let's see. Probably this one would be good. Nine thirty. Right, this one to see the one you did with the other eye, or did you oh, oh, flicker on that also? Oh, I yeah, did. Yeah, Houston okay. was a yes. great patient. So I think you can see. I don't know if it'll do it. That's like a, that's not a very good test, but you no. can see like there are different tests that you can do that will yeah, give you waveforms. Yeah, this one says not measurable. Yeah. And Lindsay, how do you find the um, how do you find the uh, um, RMK9 electrode that you're using used in this test versus an ERG jet? I know you just recently started to use the, yeah. the RM electrode. Yeah. So how how is it different? Yeah. How is, is it different? Asking, you, like the electrode? Yeah. yeah. Um, so with different um, like the active electrode that I have used, it's smaller. So I felt like it was kind of falling out of the eye more. Like you'd always have to keep putting it back on the eye. But with this one, it just the shape of it, it definitely is seated like on the cornea better. So it stays, it's it's easier to put in with your finger. So this one I'm very, very happy with. Yes. Excellent, excellent. And um, I know uh, Easton was great today. We were really well behaved. How do you find it? Uh, do, do you find that all your patients are like that? No, or? no? no, not at yeah. all. Um, that is why we will give a pain injection before and it, it definitely does help. Um, certainly, there can be a lot of like anxious pets. They're panting a lot. So sometimes, you know, you do the best you can. Usually with the noise, we can cancel that out and still get good results. Yeah. But um, he obviously is a very good example of how it can go. But definitely using like some light sedative, that won't affect your results. So we, we use that too if we have to. Excellent, excellent. Was there any any other questions from, from the audience? So they wanted to see the results on the camera. Are you able to show it? Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Good job, buddy. Here's a cookie. <laughs> okay. Can you see it there? Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. And like you mentioned, I, I think... You can look at the results on the screen, but if you, it's a small screen. If you want to hook it up to the, to the computer, you can look at the Correct. results on the, on yep. the laptop as yep. well. And sometimes we'll show our clients the results as well, just to like help explain it. So we can pull it up on the computer and show them the waveform so they can kind of get it a little bit more. Great, great. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much You're today for, for helping us with this live demo. Thank you for everybody who showed up live. We are here at the, uh, the show all week. So if you want to stop by, you have any questions, please let us know. We're also doing a drawing for a free uh, RM electrode canine. Uh, and so if you'd like to fill out uh, a drawing form, we can put that in and, and uh, we'll do a drawing on Saturday. Uh, for those of you who are uh, joining us online, thank you very much for joining us today. If you have any uh, or we're looking for more information, please uh, visit our website at lkc.com. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Woo. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>